Next to brave the hostage situation is Tip. But like Mike, she's not even trying to negotiate with the guards, which is fair enough because they don't really look like the talkative type. They do, however, look like the chasey type. And look at that, she's found the door to safety. But the bad news is she didn't rescue the hostage, so she's got to go back in. That's pretty tough on her. But it shouldn't be a surprise, because the one thing you have to do to be a successful hostage rescuer is, of course, to rescue the hostage, which she's doing now. Oh, but of course, the door she wants is blocked. That's a brave effort, but Tip gets tipped out. And now, give the hostage back. Straight into the action with our next contestant, who has already picked up the hostage. I think he might be the Thai Richard Hammond, because he's crashing into everything. That's another contestant out, and I think the hostage as well, out cold. So away we go again. And one thing I can guarantee, the hostage in the middle of that maze is praying that he doesn't get rescued, because he's been given a right beating. Forget about the contestants. I think he should ring social services to get him out. But unluckily, he's been found again. It's a bit like watching a dad with a baby whose napping he's changing, isn't it? Just rushing as fast as possible to find the bin. Looking for the restroom. Can't find the restroom. Where's the restroom? I know, I'll use the baby as a battering ram. And he goes through to the next round. Oh, the hostage is probably heading to A&E. 